Greetings. I'm here to do my debrief on my shadow of the week. My shadow of the week is my version of shop my stash or makeup bag of the week. I pick a shadow or a collection or a theme sometimes. I try it out for the week. I get on at the end of the week and talk about what I've learned, what I've tried, what I've liked, and that's what I'm doing today. This week, shadow of the week was Silk Naturals. It's the first time I've tried this independent brand. Let me just say a few things first about Silk Naturals. Silk Naturals is really characterized by its name, which is two parts, Silk and Naturals. It is a mostly natural line. Their pigments are natural. Their lipsticks, which I didn't try, are natural. I did notice that their face care products are preserved with sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate is one that I watch out for for many reasons, but mostly because it produces a toxin when mixed with vitamin C. I'm a C product person. If I have to choose between my vitamin C and sodium benzoate as a preservative, I'm always going to go with the vitamin C. The other thing I should tell you about Silk Naturals is that while it is tricky for vegans because it does contain silk, some of their products beeswax, some of their product carmine. They do have vegan options. Before I get started talking about the products that I received from Silk Naturals and that I'm going to use today in a look, I did want to talk a little bit about the rest of my face. For primer, I am using the Integrity, which is a sunscreen product, but it also works as a primer. I am shopping my stash for my concealers and my foundation. I have an obscene amount of those to work my way through. I did my brows, again, shopping my stash. In terms of natural products that I have on, one of the things I received from Heather Artiste on Twitter, she's Beauty on Natural, I think, Vapor Organic Beauty, I won her giveaway, and one of the things in it was this uh, cheek stick. There it is. So I have been using this this week. Really like it, goes on nicely. I'm gonna talk more about this in my sample Sunday, but wanted to point that out. On top of that Vapor Organic Beauty Aura Stain, as they call it in Crave, I am using Pumpkin and Poppy's Kimber, which is this blush, really, really vibrant. I need something vibrant at this time of year. It's a nice orange-pink combination. I did mix it with Cape of Wonders, which is an all-over finishing powder by Pumpkin and Poppy, and I did that just to give it a little bit more glow. There is what Cape of Wonders and Kimber look like when they're mixed together. For contour, here, 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 I used Pumpkin and Poppy's Terra Moisturizing Bronzer. Finally, I guess you can tell I have something on my lips, quite bright as a matter of fact. I am using the Pumpkin and Poppy Blood Roses. It comes in this little pencil form. I like that color. My favorite natural lip liner is this one by Anne Marie Borland. This is in the shade Black Raspberry. I believe I got this from Vitacost. It's not available in that many shades. That would be my only complaint. I normally don't go for a lip pencil. I like the retractable kind of formulas, but I really enjoy this particular formula, and it is absolutely, hands down, my best natural lip liner. And there it is in that black raspberry. Really like that. That is the lip combo. One other thing that I've done, you'll notice there's a lot of lightness in the lip. That is because I like to, after I've done a dark lip, lighten up just the middle with this pigment by Pumpkin and Poppy called Roxy. It is from, I think, the Truly Outrageous collection. This is an eyeshadow. I never was able to make this pigment work for my eyes. It just wasn't a good color for me. But boy, I love it to pop a lip color. So now I'm ready to highlight the Silk Naturals. The thing I got that I am just adoring is this little palette right here. These are eyeliners. They remind me a lot of the Smashbox eyeliners. I like them best with pigments over them. I have really been using them really like mini color tattoos, and I love having them in this formula. I suspect I'll be grabbing for this and using a lot, so you'll probably see me doing more looks with this when, even when I'm using other pigments. I also got a look that I bought all together. They don't have a lot of looks. Uh, say Sobe has something like 42, and the, there were very, very few, maybe a handful on the Silk Natural site. I got the Butterfly Garden look. It had butterfly blue, very, very pale blue that goes towards, I would say, the violet. They have this wonderful, wonderful butterfly blue. And the name of this is actually Polly. Look at that color. Ooh, 
almost electric, really, really pretty. The other color in the Butterfly Garden Collection is this beautiful, very soft, grapey mauve called Vineyard. And there is Vineyard. I also received a shadow called Bearwick, which I liked a great deal. So I'm going to swatch Bearwick. There is Bearwick. Another one I liked a great deal was this one called Huzza. There is Huzza. And again, let me swatch that. Do I have a finger? There is Huzza. The last shade I got was this little sample of a shade called Sonic. A little harder to swatch because it's in the plastic bag, but I will be putting that on. So let me get started. I'm going to get started by putting a few colors down from this little palette. I'm going to start with this shade right here. And it does have a name. It is Fort Knox. Next, I'm going to take this shade Amethyst right here. One question you might reasonably ask is, do these last as long as color tattoos? And all I can tell you is I'm the wrong person to answer the question because I'm so extremely dry, I don't have problems with anything sliding off my lid. I should tell you, because I forgot, that I did prime my eyes with the All Natural Face Vegan Eyeshadow Primer, which is my primer of choice. Really, really love this eyeshadow primer. So I use this, then I use this. End of the day, everything's still there. I'm gonna take this shade Vineyard and just run it through the crease. The next thing I'm going to do is take this shade Bearwick. It's that little bit darker brown. I'm going to apply that just right in the outer corner. Before I put on the lid colors, I'll give that a good blend. I will do that using my Learning Blending Brush, which is my favorite. For the lid, I'm going to take Sonic, this kind of cream-colored shadow that's in the little baggie. This was one I just got a sample of. Just placing that in the inner third. On the outer two-thirds of the lid, I'm going to put that shade Huzza. Hezza is that kind of golden brown shade. I'll take that same little brush and just kind of make sure that the Hezza and the Sonic go together. Now I'm going to work a little bit under the eye. I'm going to go back to this shade, which is actually the amethyst. The other shade that I was working on that was called amethyst is actually mahogany, which makes more sense. So it is mahogany in the crease, and it's going to be amethyst under the eye. They're kind of backwards on the description on the back. So it took me a while. I was going, well, no, wait a minute. That's the peacock, so that's the amethyst, and this is the midnight. Anyway, had to do some studying there. At any rate, this one here, mahogany. This one here, amethyst. When I use them under the eye, I don't necessarily need a pigment over them. It's just when I want a really dark, intense line that I'll run the shadow and a pigment over them. But for under the eye, this works well. It gives me enough color without too much color. Time now to clean up the eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use three products. The first is this one by the All Natural Face called Midas. This is a cream product.
Over that, I'm going to put Fusion of Color, and this is one of their correctors in the shade Bright Eyes. This is just a little sample. I'm still using it. A little of this has gone a long way. To highlight and clean up the edges of the eye, I am going to use this Fusion of Color Awake. really like this corrector. It is this um, purple shade. Let's see if I can show it to you. Very, very, very light purple, though. And it goes to the pink, which works for me. I'm going to take that Laranine Blender again and just softly blend right through there. Nothing big. For mascara, my mascara choice is 100% pure in black tea. To finish, I'm going to go back to Cave of Wonders. This is uh, a bit dark for me, so I'm going to apply it really lightly. The other thing is when I apply it, I don't want to apply it here, 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 or here, just because I'm wrinkly there. I enjoyed very much working with these pigments. I can understand why this is Mary's favorite. Mary is pure underscore makeup at Twitter. I know I will be using more of that eyeliner palette. I think I will definitely watch out for more color for them down the line. If I can work through some of my lip product, I might go ahead and order a lipstick from them. There was no fallout to speak of. When I was working with the Sobe Botanicals last week, there was quite a bit of fallout from the pigments. I really enjoyed the Sobe Botanicals lipstick, but the pigments, it, you know, they were a little tricky in the sense of the fallout. There was no fallout to speak of with these, and I really enjoyed the colors and enjoyed playing with them. As always, thank you so much for watching. It is Friday, TGIF. I get to celebrate by going to the doctors. It has been one year since they put the implant in my left eye, and so I'm going to go and have a whole lot of tests done, probably about three hours worth. I'll find out if they're going to be sticking me with needles in the eye again next year. I went through a year where they were giving me shots once a month in the eye. Then they gave me the implant, which meant for a year I didn't have to have shots so now I have to go back have three hours of testing and figure out if I'm gonna to have to have the needle in the eye again I hope not but it's always worth it to see so I'm willing to do it thank you so much for watching make it a great great weekend bye